back with the average reloader here. Uh, what we're gonna do today is I'm just gonna show you how to make six millimeter mongoose brass. We're using some Starline 223. And here's how I do it. I have a Sinclair expanding mandrel die. I have a 264 expander in there. Here's the expander itself. <clears throat> We're using the Lyman case neck dipper. Screw this in here. And how I do this, just take a piece of 223 brass, fresh out of the package, go once on the bristle brush, dip it once, Put it in the expander. Brush it again. And that's what you get right there. So let's compare them. And the reason why we go up to 264 is because when we neck it back down to six millimeter, what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow that excess brass that it pushes down to reform the shoulder higher because otherwise it's kind of hard to get that bulge it gets a little bulge underneath the neck out and you really don't have to you know they don't have to be fire formed they're they're essentially the <clears throat> shoulder is in the same spot it's gonna be uh, it just gets a little bulge in the case uh, let me see if i can find one here and I think all of the ones I got are fire form. Oh, here's one. So if you look at this one, you can see that it's just got a small little bulge right there around the body shoulder junction there so what we're gonna do is we're going to put our mongoose die in and we are going to form case here running in uh, expander ball still in the die which I don't have to on mine because I have a six millimeter expander to run in my Sinclair expander mandrel but on these I just run the expander uh, ball inside the mongoose die that way I don't have to do another step after this I'm just using some RCBS case loop inside uh, put a, a little bit just on the neck here nothing crazy all right run her up in there give her a form pull it out there you go six millimeter mongoose brass it's that easy just a three-step process really and then the other thing is you'll have to trim right after you get done sizing it so really it's a four step process but three steps to form the brass uh, four step being that you have to trim it a little bit but other than that pretty straightforward pretty simple nothing much to it uh, hope you guys find this video useful thanks